Hey everybody, Tanya back from Shooting Star SVG and today I am going to go through how to create a seamless pattern in Photopea. Um, you can also follow these same steps using Photoshop because this is just a free online program. I try to teach people the cheaper way to do things, you can achieve the same effect. But we're going to create a new project and I'm just going to name this Heart paper and I'm going to make it 3600 by 3600 pixels at 300 dpi. If you change that over to inches you can see that it's 12 by 12. And we're going to go ahead and do a transparent background and click create. This is going to be the base for our paper. Okay, Most digital scrapbook papers you find will be 12 by 12. So the next thing we're going to do is open up one more project. This is going to be our heart pattern. You're going to want to do a square because this is going to be seamless and tileable. I don't know if that's a word, but if it isn't, it is now. And you can see here that this is going to be a two inch by two inch square. We'll go ahead and click create. So we're going to want to get some shapes or a design into this pattern to get going. So I have a file um, that has different colored conversation hearts in it. I'm just going to use that for the sake of this tutorial. <clears throat> Make sure that you are using PNG files with transparent backgrounds when you are placing your items. Okay, these are <clears throat> these are actually a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to open up the hearts at the size that I want and then I'm going to come right back. So hold on. Okay, so I have all of my hearts loaded onto the screen. And now I am going to just place them where I think that they're going to look good. And the trick is you want to fill up the empty space while also utilizing the ability to use a function called offset. And what offset is going to do is when you'll notice when you bring this over, it doesn't travel over to the other side of the paper. And we don't want that because we want it to be tileable. So you're going to go to Filter, Other, Offset, and you can see now that the four corners of this bad boy are where you want them to be. So you move your, move your horizontal and your vertical, to where you would like it, and then click OK. And you're just going to keep moving things around until okay you're satisfied with what it looks like And when you're done, you're just going to go to Edit, Define New Pattern. And what that's going to do is it's going to add this into your pattern list. So we're going to go back over to the heart paper that we created. And you're going to go down here to New Adjustment Layer. And you're going to click on Pattern Fill. And you'll go over here and click on the arrow and then you will click on your heart pattern. And as you can see, it has been populated onto this paper and you can scale it up or down depending on what aesthetic you're going for to make it bigger or smaller. 
and if you want to add a background you simply just go to the color fill pat uh, add a new layers color fill and drop it behind the background and double click on that to change the color if that's something that you're interested in doing for the purposes of this I'll just leave it as a simple white and that's all there really is to it uh, you can do the same thing with basic patterns so we'll go ahead and just do the same thing but here what we can do is create a circle and create a 300 by 300 pixel circle and then what you're going to do is just rasterize that layer it's just going to flatten it out and then we're just going to move this whoops didn't mean to do that so that is center and then you can actually just duplicate this layer go to filter other offset and since we know that we have a 600 by 600 pixel workspace you just want to do your offset to be 300 by 300 click OK this is going to create a seamless dot pattern so you can just go ahead and go to edit define new pattern and we can go back into our heart paper double click on the pattern and you'll see that this has been populated in click on that and it has populated our dots now if you're just doing a basic shape like this for you to easily continue to create um, papers you can click on new adjustment later color fill and then right click and click on clipping mask and it will change the color of your pattern so you can quickly make you know 10 or 12 of these things if you want to um, you could also do a um, gradient fill which is just I didn't mean to do that let me delete that and then you can create a gradient fill the same way as the color fill and also create that as a clipping mask and it will gradient out your dots which is a cool effect whatever your pattern is or you can and I'm just gonna actually drop this in I was working on glitter color palettes earlier so I'm just gonna go to edit define new pattern hmm. Or you can do a pattern fill and use that as a clipping mask and you can fill your design with uh, you know a glitter or whatever you want and that's really it I mean you just follow the process of utilizing the offset to make sure your shapes are going off of the board onto the other side <coughs> Ooh, excuse me 
Sorry for those of you who had headphones on and had to hear me sneeze. That's all there is to it. Um, this is a little bit easier than the tutorial I previously created, so I'm going to link to that in the old video. Um, hopefully y'all got something out of this. If you cannot follow along, please feel free to shoot me a message on Facebook or on my email and I'll be sure to help you out. Also click like and subscribe below because this motivates me to continue to do these for you guys. So I hope everybody has a great night and I'll talk to you soon.